the Hyundai Ioniq 5 made waves during its debut last year. Before we carry on with the video, can you please smash the like button and the subscribe button. Now let's carry on with the video. When it landed last year, the Ioniq 5 marked a new era for Hyundai's electric sub-brand. If it's a harbinger of things to come, we're optimistic for the future. The Ioniq 5 is a polished and appealing EV crossover. It lacks the raw performance of a Tesla Plaid model and its price is higher than budget-friendly options like the Chevrolet Bolt EV but the Ioniq 5 excels where it matters. Comfort, quality, and everyday practicality. A striking ultra-modern exterior doesn't hurt, either. Hyundai's usual value-laden feature set provides plenty of tech and convenience. The powertrains are capable, the steering crisp, the cabin spacious and quiet. Short charging times, impressive range, and high build quality round out the Ionic 5's virtues. It's currently our favorite non-luxury electric crossover, notching victories over competitors like the Kia EV6, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and the Toyota BZ4X. The Ionic 6 has a long and low roofline and a slight boat tail shape that gives it what Hyundai claims as an ultra-low drag coefficient. Paired with a 77.4 kWh battery pack, the Ionic 6 will come in front-wheel drive or optional all-wheel drive and get a range of up to 340 miles. The all-wheel drive version will make 320 horsepower and 446 pound-feet of torque from a pair of dual motors located at the front and back of the car. Hyundai says that the Ionic 6 can travel from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 5 seconds but customers will give up range for performance. The Ionic 6 with all-wheel drive will get around 310 miles of range. The front-wheel drive version makes 225 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque and will get the touted 340 miles of range. Both versions of the Ionic 6 will get fast charging capabilities and support both 400 volt and 800 volt infrastructure thanks to the eGMP platform. That platform offers 800 volt charging as standard, but Hyundai says that it can accept 400 volt charging without an adapter by using an inverter and a motor to boost 400 volts to 800 volts. On a DC fast charger, 350 kilowatts. Hyundai says that the Ionic 6 can go from 10% to 80% charged in just 18 minutes. In 5 minutes, the Ionic 6 can regain around 65 miles of range on a 350 kW DC fast charger. For home charging, a level 2 charger will give the Ionic 6 a full charge in just over 7 hours. Like other automakers, including Tesla, Hyundai has incorporated battery conditioning software into the Ionic 6. Conditioning can reduce charging time for quick charges on road trips. When a charging location is entered into the navigation system, the battery conditioning system will turn on so that the battery is prepped to take the max charge in the shortest period of time. The Ionic 6 will also get a new navigation function that will generate routes with EV charging stations along the way when the battery is low. If a charging station is out of order or in use, the system will automatically look for other EV stations that are available and send the driver there. The Ionic 6 is the first Hyundai model to get ODA updates and V2L or vehicle to load functions, aka bi-directional charging. Hyundai says that the Ionic 6 can charge electric devices like electric bikes, scooters, camping equipment or a stranded EV. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, Turn the notification bell on and share.